Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial we will be taking a look at going ahead and exporting our data and backing up our data through MSF console. So exporting our data outside the Metasploit environment is very simple. We can use the db underscore export command that will go ahead and gather all our required information and it can be saved in an XML file. This format can be easily used and manipulated later for reporting purposes. The command has two outputs, XML format which will export all the information currently stored in our active workspace and the PWW uh, dump format which exports everything related to the used or gathered credentials. So I'll just go ahead and type db underscore export hyphen h and as you can see we have these specific stuff that I could go ahead and import so I could just type db underscore export and hyphen f xml slash root slash and let's say if I had that in my workspace the name of which was test and the exported ml would be period xml it won't work right now because I don't have any xml but if I had it would straight away go ahead and export all of these things and using the host command I could again go ahead and see whatever I had imported. So now that we can go ahead and import and export information to and from our database, let us look at how we can go ahead and use this information within the MSF console. Many commands are available to search for specific information stored in our database. Host name, address, discovered services, etc. We can even use the resulting data to populate module settings such as remote host. We will look how this is done a bit later. So the host command was used now to confirm the presence of data in our database. Let's look at uh, different options available and see how we could use it to provide us with quick and useful information. Issuing the command hyphen h with the host will display us this menu. So as you can see we could add different host, delete different host or we could only go ahead and show the given columns. As you can set our host and output in a CSV format. Then you can search string to filter by. So we will start by asking the host command to display only the IP address and the OS type using the hyphen C switch. So I'll just type host hyphen C address comma OS underscore V R. Okay. As you can see, I have I will only get the address and the OS flavor of whichever uh, host I had. After that, we can also go ahead and set up different modules for that. That won't be a big deal as well. So another interesting feature that will be uh, that is available to us is it has the ability to search all of our entries for something specific. Imagine that if uh, we wish to find only the Linux-based machines from our scan, we will be able to use that using the hyphen S option. This option can be combined with our previous example and it can help fine-tune our result. So I'll just type the same thing as host hyphen C address comma os flavor hyphen s and I can just type Linux. So it will go just go and show me all the available hosts which are having the kernel of Linux. Using the output of our this example I can also go and feed into that the TCP scan auxiliary module. Yes we could do that. So I'll just type show options and as you can see that these are the different settings that we could go ahead and modify. So we can see that by default nothing is set in our R host and we'll add that hyphen R switch to the host command and run the module. Hopefully it will run and scan our target without any problems. So just type host uh, hyphen s linux space hyphen R. So uh, the list is MC, uh, empty and covertly. Covertly is an application that goes and tries to uh, scan and gain access into systems. So covertly is refusing to set our host, the reason being that we don't have anything in specific. Of course this also works is uh, works if our result contains more than one address. So I could just type host hyphen R and it will show me uh, the available host. And you can also see how useful this may be if our database contained hundreds of entries. We could search for Windows machines only. Then set the R host away options for the SMB underscore version auxiliary module very quickly. The set R host switch is available in almost all of the commands that interact with the database. So I could just type services and okay, I believe the services command was terminated. Okay, perfect. It's small. 
I could just type the services and it will give me the services information. If I could type H, it will give me all the information that I could add, modify or delete. So much in the same way as the host command, uh, we can specify which fields to be displayed. Coupled with the hyphen S switch, we can also search for a service containing a particular string. So I could just type services hyphen C name and info hyphen S or let's say before that info 192.168.172.16. So we could also do that or here uh, if I am trying to search all hosts contained in our database with a service name containing the string HTTP now I could type something like info hyphen s s HTTP I could go ahead and do that so the combination for searching uh, the things like these are enormous we can use specific ports or port ranges full or partial service name when using the hyphen s or the hyphen capital S switches so for all examples or just a few it depends on us the list goes on and so I'll just show you a few examples but you may need to experiment with these features in order to get what you want exactly and need out your searches so you just type services hyphen C info name hyphen P 445 it means over here the port is 445 I could go ahead and do that or I could type services hyphen C port and protocol state hyphen p 70 to 81 that means gathering all the protocol and state from the port between 70 to 81 or I could do something like let's say services hyphen s http hyphen c port and that means we we'll go ahead and check for a port it will go ahead and gather all the information or I could do like something like services hyphen s u n r it will go ahead and give me all of these things in under one command